Calipeg 1.6 has brought some new features and improvements within the interface. For example, if I select a sheet, the menu is now displayed at the top of the timeline and stays there even if I don't have the pencil on the screen. And the menu change is the same in the layer stack. I can always double tap and drag to multi-select sheets. And if I want to duplicate them with or without content, I can just click here and it will duplicate the selected sheets right next to them. Or I can click on it and drag it wherever I want. For example, here I duplicated my sheets in that part of the timeline. And of course, it works across layers. So remember to click and drag if you want to move it away. There are also new features in the selection tool here, starting with the gesture bypass here. If I click on transform, I can see my HUD and manipulate my drawing, one finger to keep the ratio. But if I do that, it will transform my element. By enabling the gestures bypass, this gesture will zoom in and out of the canvas. And I will have to use the pencil to move my shape and transform it. Keep in mind that you can validate a transformation by clicking again on the transformation icon. We also added a pivot point here. Now it is at the center of my drawing. So if I rotate, you can see it rotates around the pivot point. And if I click here to move it, it will rotate around the pivot point, which can be very useful in some cases. If I want to put the pivot point at the center again, I just click on it, long touch and drag it. And I can put one finger on the canvas to see some guidelines. And here I have the center. It also works with the whole transformation here. I can have some vertical lines, horizontal and the center. We also added a new selection shape, which is the ellipse. So I can select with an ellipse, a circle with one finger on the canvas, an ellipse from the center with two fingers or a circle from the center with three fingers. And to copy and paste the selection you just did here, click on the transform tool, two fingers long touch on the canvas to bring the floating menu, click on copy and go anywhere else, click on paste and here is your duplicated selection. Now you can also copy and paste drawings from an app to another. For example, here I have this drawing within Procreate and I can copy it, go back to Calipeg, long touch with two fingers and paste it and place it wherever I want and validate. We know that sometimes we need different apps for different purposes and this copy and paste feature can be very useful. With Calipeg 1.6, you can now undo and redo from the timeline. Regarding the drawing experience, if I'm drawing here and I undo, it will undo while I'm drawing. And if you don't want that, you just have to go to settings, canvas and enable the allow gestures while drawing option. And now I can draw and the gestures won't do anything while the pencil is on the screen. <laughs>